Hello everyone, pag-usapan natin ang basic at direct application ng integration formulas for exponential and logarithmic functions. Ito yung mga formula na gagamitin natin if you are getting the integral of a, a certain constant raised to x with respect to x, that is just equal to, kopyahin lang natin yung a raised to x, siya yung nasa numerator, divided by the ln of our base, that is a. And then, magkalimutan yung arbitrary constant that is plus c. Tapos, for the integral of e raised to x dx, walang mangyayari sa kanya. So, that is still e raised to x and then plus the arbitrary constant c. For the integral of ln of x dx, this is just equal to, kuhanin yun nasa loob, that is x, times the ln of x, minus x and then plus c. Ito na yung formula niya. And then lastly, if you are getting the integral of dx over x, that is just equal to the ln of x plus c. Meron naman tayong formula sa baba to guide us as we solve this. Direct applications lang naman tayo. So now let's try our first example. We have here the integral of 3 raised to x plus ln of x with respect to x. Iangat natin ng konti para kita yung formulas. Ito yung kailangan nating isolve. For our first step, we apply the sum and difference rule of integration. Dahil yung 3 raised to x at ln of x is separated by addition, Pwede natin kuhanin yung integral nila separately. So, let's start. This is equal to, first term, integral muna ni 3 raised to x, and then dx, and then the operation between them is addition. So, this is plus. Itong pangalawa naman, the integral of ln of x with respect to x. Now, apply na lang tayo ng integration formula. So, this is equal to, integral of 3 raised to x dx, ang gagamitin natin ay itong formula na to. In our case, our a is equal to 3. Kaya ang mangyayari, kuhanin lang to, this is a raised to x. According to the formula, siya yung nasa numerator. Kaya ang nasa taas natin is still 3 raised to x. Walang nagbabago. And then this is over ln of a. In our case, our a is 3. So this is over ln of 3. And then plus, integral of ln of x with respect to x. Directly, eto na siya. Kopihin na lang natin yung nasa formula. So you have x ln of x, and then minus x, huwag kalimutan yung arbitrary constant plus c. Now, this is the final answer. This is how we use yung formula for the integral of exponential functions directly. Now, let us have more examples. Example number 2 for our direct application ng formulas, you have the integral of 5 e raised to x minus 4 raised to x with respect to x. Again, sum and difference rule, paghiwalayin muna natin silang dalawa, so, this is just equal to the integral of the first. We have 5 e raised to x dx. Tapos, yung operation between them is subtraction. Kaya, this should be minus integral of nung pangalawa, 4 raised to x and then dx. To simplify further, we apply constant multiple rule. Kapag meron tayong constant na nakamultiply dito, pwede natin siyang ilabas ng integration. So, this is equal to, ilalabas yung 5 we have 5 integral of, ano yung natira sa loob? We have e raised to x dx minus still integral of 4 raised to x and then dx. Tingin na lang tayo sa formula. Ang integral ng e raised to x dx, hindi siya nagbabago. This is still e raised to x. Kaya ang mangyayari, this is equal to 5 times ang integral nito is still the same. e raised to x minus, eto we have 4 raised to x. Ang a naman natin in this case is 4. Apply lang natin itong formula. Kopyahin yung a raised to x in our case. 4 raised to x. And then this is over ln of a. Our a is just equal to 4. So this is ln of 4. Tapos wag kalimutan yung arbitrary constant. We add c. Now this is our final answer. For this example, gumamit tayo nitong formula na to. For a raised to x dx. Tsaka yung formula for the integral of a raised to x dx. Now let us proceed with our last example para sa direct application ng formulas ng integral of logarithmic and exponential function. Let us try example number 3. We have the integral of 2 over x minus 7 e raised to x dx. Again, sa amin difference rule, paghiwalayin muna natin sila. So this is equal to the integral of 2 over x and then dx first term minus yung pangalawa integral of 7 e raised to x and then dx. With this, etong 2 over x, wala tayong direct formula agad. Pero kung makapansin natin, we have dx over x. 
Kaya ang gagawin, tung 2, pwede natin siyang ilabas. Applying constant multiple rule. So this is equal to bringing out 2. Kaya ang matitara sa loob, we have 1 over x times dx or simply dx over x. Ngayon, makakagamit na tayo ng formula na to. Then for our second one, constant multiple rule ulit, pwedeng ilabas yung 7. So you have 7, the integral of, ang naiwan sa loob, e raised to x and then dx. Then we just apply our formula. This is equal to 2. Ang integral ng dx over x is just equal to ln of x plus c. So we have 2 times ln of x tapos minus 7. Ang integral ng e raised to x, hindi siya magbabago. This is still e raised to x. So 7 e raised to x plus the arbitrary constant c. Now this is our final answer. And this wraps up our lecture video para sa direct application ng formulas for the integral of exponential and logarithmic functions. See you on the next lecture video.